Hi, I'm Sue from Garden Moxie. Today, I'm going to show you how I make cyanotypes. Cyanotype prints can be used to make everything from wrapping paper to gift tags. to one-of-a-kind art prints to decorate your home. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this design. There's a few things you need to make cyanotypes. You can purchase a sun print kit that contains everything you need. The kit comes with a supply of sun print paper and a sheet of acrylic. You can also mix your own chemicals. This is my preferred method. The chemicals come in a dry form. Just add water and they're ready to use. You will need a container to mix the chemicals. You'll need a measuring spoon and you will need either a paintbrush or a paint sponge. It's important to use a strong paper. I use print paper, watercolor paper, and multimedia paper. You can collect leaves and flowers from your garden to create your designs. I use a piece of glass that I remove from a picture frame to hold the leaves in place while they develop. The first step is to mix the chemicals. I use an old soup can and a teaspoon to measure equal parts of bottle A and bottle B. Once the two chemicals are combined, they become sensitive to light. Take care to protect your mixture from light exposure once the two parts are mixed together. Keep in mind that you can't reuse or store the chemicals once they've been mixed. They have a shelf life of approximately four hours. Take care not to mix too big of a quantity. I find that mixing one teaspoon each of part A and part B is more than enough. You can easily mix more chemicals should you need it. To create the circle design we're making in this video, I use a paintbrush. I paint circles of the chemicals onto the watercolor paper. You can also use a paint sponge to apply the mixture to the entire surface of the paper. I encourage you to play around with different techniques to find the one that works best for you. Once your paper dries, it's time to create your design. For this design, I gathered ferns, leaves, and hydrangea flowers from my own garden. Place the leaves and flowers onto the paper to create the design that you like best. Place a piece of glass onto the stems. The next step is to expose your paper to sunshine. I find that when the chemicals have turned a deep gray-blue, I'm finished exposing my print. You're now ready to rinse the paper in water. Rinsing your paper in water will stop the exposure process. You want to rinse the paper to remove any chemicals from the surface to stop the chemical reaction. For my work, I rinse my paper in water until I see a clear white background color. Once the paper is rinsed, dry it on a flat surface.
that's all there is to it. If you like this video, please subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell to be notified when my next video is released. Thanks for watching.